Midsummer's main premise is one that we have already seen countless times. A couple travels to a secluded area only for their idyllic retreat to quickly devolve into a nightmare because of a group of strangers. Despite having that tired foundation, Midsummer still manages to be its own thing due to some presentation and narrative choices. Soon after the main characters arrive to the Midsummer Festival, they are drugged, which leads them to being easily manipulated by the members of the cult. This explains why they don't act logically in a lot of situations. Typically, when characters in these types of movies make idiotic decisions, it creates gaps in logic and plot holes. Their dumb choices make sense here because they are constantly high. What becomes fairly obvious early on is that Midsummer is more focused on communicating the trauma of its lead than trying to scare the audience. This movie's main purpose is to tell the story of a troubled and toxic relationship and the eventual breakup that's painfully dragged out. It conveys the feeling of a long and uneasy breakup perfectly. Understanding this makes the bizarre ending make more sense. The ending shows us the lead watching her boyfriend be burned alive. She at first frowns, but that expression morphs into a cheerful smile. At first, this seems like she's turned evil or has been corrupted by the cult, but that's not the case. As she is drugged, her perception of reality is skewed. This is something that is self-evident to anyone that has ever been under the influence. So after she has seen her boyfriend cheat and finally scream the scream that she's wanted to let out for a while with the cult members and experience that catharsis she desperately needed. She sees this burning as her finally being free of the suffering that her relationship has brought her. At that moment of profound catharsis and intoxication, she is truly ready to move on from the relationship that has only brought her harm. Although, after the high goes away, she'll probably reevaluate the situation and be extremely disturbed with everything that's happened. Do you agree with my explanation of Midsummer's ending? Comment down below if you do or don't.